This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to look at the extrusion tool in Autodesk. So again, open your standard IN IPT file. So far the videos you've watched have been 2D sketches. You've learned how to make lines, triangles, polygons, circles, and use this spline tool a little bit. But today we're going to do the extrusion tool. And this is what makes it, instead of being just a 2D, it makes it a figure, it makes it three-dimensional, it adds depth. So start 2D sketch, choose the XY plane, and then what I want you to do, I want you to make a rectangle, and dimension it to be 8 inches at the top, left to right. When that happens, just hit front, it will pop back up. You're still on your dimension tool, it's lit up blue, and make this one 20 inches. Okay, and to resume that, hit front again. So now we have an 8 by 20 rectangle. Okay, so for now we're done with our sketch. So right click, and some of you have been having this happen. Usually we hit right click and hit OK. Now we're right click and you hit finish 2D sketch. And it's going to look kind of weird. Hit the home button. There's a little house above your view cube. And now hit this icon, extrude. If I hover over that, it tells you it adds depth to a profile. So extrude. This should pop up. If it doesn't on yours and it looks like this, hit this little down arrow and then move it somewhere where you can see. I don't. You don't want it covering the shape because you want to see what's going on. Let's extrude that out five inches, and you can see it comes out more. So this tells me it's a distance, direction one. If I hit direction two, it just makes it go the other way. Symmetrical would be four inches, or two and a half inches this way, two and a half inches this way. So let's go back to the first one, direction one, and hit OK. And I'm going to grab my view cube here and just let you see the different views. Okay, we have made a rectangular prism. So we have a rectangular prism now and it's got several, you know, you can hover on each face. That's important for later. We're going to do that. So hit the the house button or home. And what I want you to do, highlight this face. And before we do that, let's see. Let's give it some color. Right now it says default. Go up there. Let's make it a smooth black. Okay, so we've changed the color. And I want you to hover over this face, right click it, and hit new sketch. Okay. And what should happen, you should be back on your 2D drawing tools. So we've made one extrusion. We can put, this is our new sketch, our new face here that we're going to sketch on we can make other extrusions off of this. So what I want you to do, choose a circle, hover up here, do you see I see that green line? That tells me that's the center of the circle of the rectangle. So come down to it. And I want you to draw a circle and Okay, it's kind of tough to see with that black background. Let's dimension that circle. Make it have a diameter of 5 inches. And then I want you to right click on the circle. Finish 2D sketch. We're going to extrude that out. A distance of 2.5 inches. Hit OK. While I'm in here, I'm going to change this color. I don't like the black. That's, uh, that's not working well for what we're wanting to do for right now. Let's make it... A white oak. So now it looks like wood. Okay. You can see this kind of looks like a Lego piece. We've extruded it and that is something we'll look at later. Um, I want you to rotate the cube now. Click right and then find the back of it. And I'm going to use my trackball to scroll in. Hover over that and put new sketch. So now we're working on this side of the rectangular prism or this face. 
we're going to make a kind of a complicated shape here. So draw a rectangle. Let's dimension it to 5 by 7. Okay. Get a circle and kind of get it in here where it covers it up. That blue one's not not going to matter to us. So now let's dimension that circle to 4.5 inches. Hopefully it won't move it on us. And it didn't. Okay. And now hit the trim button, which you did a little bit in lesson three. Okay. Let's trim that, trim that, trim that. You can still see the dimension, which is okay. If we want to get rid of that, all you have to do is right click, delete, and it's gone. So now we have this weird where we've cut part of a rectangle out. Okay. Right click, finish 2D sketch. Um, let's see. We don't want to do that. Let's stay on the back. We get it like on one of these corners where you can see the side. Now I want you to extrude. But this time, I want you to do an extrusion into the part and change it to 1.5 inches. Notice we're using direction two. I hit OK. And now I'm going to scroll in, look at the back. OK. Let me grab my pan tool. And now you can see that that has been extruded and cut a hole into the shape. Okay. And to make that stand out, what we're going to do, get that shape highlighted, right click it, go to properties, and let's pick dark green. That's going to change the color. Now you can actually see that extrusion. Okay. That helps you, makes it look, stand out a little bit more. You can extrude any shape as long as it's closed. Okay, so if I want it on this face, right click and hit new sketch. Let's say I want to put a polygon on it. Okay, I'm going to choose a polygon. Let's go with a pentagon, it's five sided. I'm going to draw it here. Okay, hit done. Let's dimension that. We always want to dimension, that's very important make it two inches. Let's see if it does all the size and it doesn't. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so I'm done with that sketch. Let's extrude this. This time we want to bring it back out. Let's make it come out three inches. And if you're just looking at that view, you can't really see it. But if you hit the home, kind of hover around different ways, you can see we've made multiple extrusions. We've made two that come out and one that cuts into the surface. Okay, later you're going to do some pretty complex designs where you cut into it and we will make a, like a shape go through the block. Okay, we'll insert a completely different part. So this is the extrude tool. Um, that's one you use a lot when you get into 3D drawing, and it's a useful tool to have. If you click over here, it tells you your extrusions, kind of what you did. You can see the dimensions when you hover over here. And when I come to check things off, this is what I'm going to look for. Did you properly dimension it? And I'll just look over here in your browser. So let's do a file, save as. Choose your inventor file and make this Mr. V lesson five. Lesson four you're going to watch is someone else talking besides me. They do a really good job with the constraints and I'll let you do that on your own. So save that and that's it for this lesson, the extrusion. The next time we'll make some more extrusions and we're going to look at the fillet and chamfer and the shell tool, these different buttons up here.